Go watch a nigga boss up in this bitch. Off white jeans, rockin' cream to the drip. VV my neck, you can see it when he hit. You can see it when he hit. I can never love a trick. Words to my mother, she know that I'm a pain. I stay to myself, I don't fuck with no simps. I'm a young lit nigga, and you know he be a shit. Yeah, you know he be a shit. Bring a yellow tape to the scene. Just brought a brand new yabba with the bean. That's your bitch, I was tryna blow her back out Fuck her from behind, then I pull that track out Niggas tryna fuck around, put the Mac out Five vote, no they tryna rate it Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to episode 15 of the Spinner Podcast I appreciate you guys listening I have a, a very special guest here 3,000 click we Got Austin DeMarco and Skive But before that, I have a few, uh, few little announcements I need to make so fuck American Airlines, bullshit ass company, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> Definitely, if you guys are checking out, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, or Breaker, let me know how your experience is. I have recently just added my podcast after about two weeks ago from when I'm recording this. Yeah, I've been, I was doing YouTube only, but now I'm on those. So let me know if, if you guys are enjoying that. I really appreciate the positive feedback I've been getting recently for the Lonnie Love interview. I uh, appreciate the love. That, that keeps me going. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, share. Share is the biggest thing if you want to support this podcast. Share it to your friends. Also, check out my playlist videos. I do those weekly. I'm cutting them down from 40 songs to 25 songs, but I'm doing them weekly now. And check that out. All underground artists, all fire. I co-sign everything in there. And to introduce two guys that I have... Featured in podcast, uh, not podcast, playlist number three. I got Austin DeMarco, Sky 3000 Click, slap, first slap, duo slap. to ever come on the podcast. And I'm happy to have these guys here. It's a pleasure to be here, bro. Yeah. Appreciate you. How you guys feeling? Lit, lit. Fucking fire, yeah. my nigga. You know what's going on, bro. Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. So uh, tell me about you guys' upbringing. I know you got two different upbringings, two different yeah. stories to feature here. Yeah. So I guess Austin will start with you. How was your, uh, your come up? Um, it's fucking crazy. Honestly, all right, so it, it's different. Like, me and this nigga have a different upbringing, but it's dead ass like, the same story, and mm-hmm. it's crazy. Um, so, originally, born in Brooklyn, um, East New York specifically, was probably in 718. Um, born out there, and then I think when I was, like, three, four, I moved to Queens. Mm-hmm. And then after moving to Queens, um, we ended up moving to the Stead. Okay. And then I was out here for a few years. Then I moved back to Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And then I stayed there for a while. Like I think when I moved back to Brooklyn was like the longest I had stayed in a place mm-hmm. for like a, a like a certain uh, like period of time. Mm-hmm. And then I started fucking up in school like so bad to the point where I got like I got left back a few times, mm-hmm. like three times to be exact. Okay. And then. It just came to a point where I was like, all right, like I gotta make a change. What am I about to do? Mm-hmm. And my mom was like, look, bro, like, like me, like me and my parents wasn't really like wasn't fire for mm-hmm. a while. And then my mom was like, look, like, if 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 you fucking up, like, let me, like pull up. Let me like help you out. Okay. Let me let me like let me like basically. Let me like let me guide you because what the, the path that you're on right now is fucked up. And I was yeah. like, all right, say that. So. Moved back with my mom for high school, mm-hmm. and then you know, thank God they put me in the right grade. They, I'm happy I wasn't like a super senior. Yeah, come okay. niggas is like. So oh you graduated like the year you're supposed to, or yeah. like the year? okay. Yeah. Okay, when'd you end up graduating? Um, what was it like 2000? Who was it 16? Like Yo, 2016. Yo, shout out, bro. Yeah, shout out. Same 2016. thing, man. 2016, 2016 yeah, grew. Old as fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like we old as hell now. Like I know. 2016 is like a while ago now. It is three years ago. Yeah. The people think about this. The people. That were freshmen when we were seniors graduated. So nobody that's in high school currently is we went to high school with, unless they got held back. That's unless crazy. they got, unless they super seniors now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I hope they fucking not, cause that shit yeah. is fucked up. Yeah. But um, yeah, graduated, got up out of there, and um, yeah. As far as music, been doing this shit since I was like nine years old. Mm-hmm. Started out with the drums when I was a kid. Okay. And then I moved on to writing, cause my dad was into this shit. I used to see him around the crib, like with mad hood niggas, like playing dominoes and recording. And I remember one day, the shit that really got me into it was like, one day he was like, "Yo, son, pull up, come in, mm-hmm. hop in the song, say, Brooklyn motherfuckers, East New York." I'm like, "All right, bet." Like I was like, what five? 
uh-huh. and he let me curse. I'm like, say that. Yeah. And I'm this little ass kid talking about gully ass shit. Mm-hmm. Right. And so ever since that day, I was like, yo, like, what is this? Like, mm-hmm. what is this? So I used to like be around them, like watch them record, watch them make beats and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then when I was in like sixth, seventh grade, I got a copy of FL. FL okay. Studio. Like gotcha. Everybody in the producer community knows that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got FL, started producing. And, um, and I've just been doing that shit ever since. Mm-hmm. Ever since. Yeah. Um, and now we here. Now, now, <laughs> now we so here. It grew into a big passion for you. Now. Hell yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be probably be dead or something like that. Because mm-hmm. this is like, this is the way. This yeah. is always the way. Mm-hmm. No matter what, this was the way. Yeah. yeah. And then what's your, what's your story here? So you got Scav here, you know, um, single mom, you know, dad in prison, mm-hmm. locked up. When I was born, he's already locked up, you know, so I didn't have really father figure, you know, so kind of was like, you know, just me and my mom, moved around a lot. As a kid, I came from Brooklyn to Roosevelt, you know, grew up, shout out to Michelle preschool. If you went to Roosevelt, you know where we at. Mm-hmm. Then after Michelle, you know, we got kicked out the house, evicted, went to Hempstead, stayed there first to second grade, then moved to... Uniondale and spent my whole life there, so. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm a Uniondale nigga, you feel me? So. Mm-hmm. It's lit. But, um, How do you enjoy being out here? I mean, shout out to the Dale, like, we lit. Like, <laughs> like the Dale's, like, it's uh-huh. distinctive. Like, you know a Dale nigga, like, mm-hmm. we just different. Like, we move different. Like, it's like yeah. Dale, like, we the Dale nigga, it's different. Like, Uniondale's different. Yeah. I enjoy living out here from yeah. the stupid town that I'm from in Maryland to come out here. Like, the ener- there's definitely energy here. I know I live in, like, a different part of it. I live in the. The, I guess the university side yeah. of this, but I really like being around here. Just even just driving around here, like there's just energy everywhere, and I yeah. love that. I love that. So how'd you two link up then? I right, so oh, that that happened like crazy, bro. That shit happened on accident. Ha- basically happened on accident. Like, I had nothing to do with. Like I didn't. We went to the same school. He was older than me though, like two grades ahead of me. Yeah. So I didn't really. We knew each other, but we didn't really. We wasn't cool like that. I had my mm-hmm. own like clique and whatever. I was doing with my niggas and shit. So then I came with my friends. You know, he was cool with my friends. Yeah, mutual friends. I didn't rap at this time. I knew how to rap, but I didn't rap. But like, okay, you weren't recording. I didn't, I didn't record nothing. I, yeah. I, I didn't record like that. I just knew how to rap. But I'm like, all right, if I get the opportunity to ever rap, I can do it. Like, you mm-hmm. know. Right. So one day, you know, my friends, they were the rappers. Then they went to his house, Austin's house. You know, I was a bystander just sitting down. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know the song Shining. Shining is it one of your earliest? Like songs? early song. The first, it's the first song. Like, like the first song you songs. see. Oh, okay. A couple thousand plays, whatever. Right. So that one happened like that my friend and him was on the song. I wasn't even supposed to even rap. Like I was supposed to be there and shut up, basically. Like just be there and just don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. So like I, yeah, today. yeah, like yeah. just be there and don't say anything. So then <laughs> I went there, and then you know they made the song. They was like, it's missing something. Like, like you know, like we should like you know yo, you know like yo, you wanna be on it? I'm like uh. Fuck it, I'll say something on it. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, it's fun. Like, mm-hmm. I said, like, a line, you know, they gassed me, like, yo, that shit's hard. I'm like, you think so? Yeah. It was like, yeah, it's hard. I'm like, I right, whatever. Like, like, to me, it was whatever. That's I was like, tough. fuck it. I didn't realize how good it was. I was like, whatever. Yeah. So then we put the song out. I went to school the next day, and everything looked like it changed for me. Really? I put down my life. So like, I had, I had bitches that I didn't talk to. Uh-huh. Yo, I saw you. You know, you, um, you know, you're good. I mean, how long you been rapping? I don't know. I haven't been recording that long. It's like you need to like you need to start taking it serious. I didn't say anything on the like I didn't say nothing on the song really. Yeah. So in my head I'm like I didn't say anything, but everyone loved it. So imagine if I really took it serious. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like For it would sure. just be crazy. So I just started taking it more serious then. Okay. Gotcha. Like you know we here in 3K. Yeah. You know. Like, can we can we just add? Yeah. I'm gonna just add something real spooky though. Like, can we talk about I met this nigga before that. Yeah. Before that. Okay. How'd you? Way before. In class. So I'm I think I cut. Yeah, I was okay. cutting in the class, mm-hmm. That's crazy. and this nigga was there. And um, I, mean, I didn't know him at all. Yeah, I this is when I this know, one I, I just moved back. I didn't know who the hell okay. he was. Yeah. Right, right, I right, knew right, his right. friend. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. He was with somebody that I knew, but I didn't yeah. know him personally. He didn't know me, so we was in a cut, and um, so, somehow someone started talking about Vince Staples. You ever heard TLC? Of course, yeah. The Action Bronson shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Somehow, like we started having a conversation about that. Okay. And then we started talking about that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Action Bronson Fire, like. Yeah, I didn't know him at all, but we had like the same music, like. Yeah. Mindset, okay. like right. we both like yeah. the same shit. It's such an easy way to just yeah. get. I mean, that's how we're really connecting right yeah. now, pretty much. It's yeah. such an easy way to just talk to people yeah. nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, go on. So a- after that, um, like somehow, some way, we we ended up meeting again. that day, and then we met again through the mutual friends like that we were talking about. Yeah. Okay. 
Gotcha. Same shit. But we clicked up through the music shit first, like mm-hmm. just having similar tastes and shit like that. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys like think back and be if you were like, I don't know how old you guys were, sixteen to fifteen, whatever, and then like thinking that three years from now, like that we're gonna be a duo at this point? Is that like oh, is it? And like that's no. crazy as fuck. Hell no. <laughs> fuck no. Mm-hmm. But we didn't like. You were talking, you were nah, like I mean. When we when we first started this shit, we thought we was gonna come in on some Wu Tang shit or some shit like yeah, that. It was, it was, it was a group of there was mad of us. Oh, okay. It was a whole bunch yeah. of us. Yeah. It just wow. It it's just, like, just so it was what happened to everybody else. It was started, God's plan. Like, started like you yeah. know just not just, wanting to do it anymore. It's kind of like they just started to yeah. do their own thing. Everyone started doing their own thing, and then yeah. people realized. And then I made a song with him. It was me, him, somebody else, and we connected on a song like better than everybody in yeah. the group. Like our our you know, so everyone was like, "Yo, y'all hard like together, mm-hmm. just y'all too." Yep. And that Monday started like separating and I came to the studio more often every Monday's day when he comes. Yo, I used to I used to be sick of this nigga coming to the crib, bro. Like he would he would be the only one coming yeah. every yeah. day. Every single day. And we yeah. and he would just be like, Yo, yo, like what are we doing today? Like we recording? I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, just come bro. Like to the point where I was like, just come bro, fuck it. Yeah. And then after a while of that happening, like something clicked. And I was like, all right, maybe this nigga's not that bad. Like yeah. you know what I'm Because I knew he had potential. Right. That wasn't that wasn't the mm-hmm. issue. Yeah. You know, it was just like I, I, was, he was still, we was cool, but he was still a stranger. Yeah, I was still a stranger. Mm-hmm. I know him. Like yeah, that. gotcha. Okay. But you know, after a while of him just popping out all the fucking time, like I respected the hustle, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. Let me start rocking with so this. People thing. that are hungry and have that fire. Like, yeah. Just natural. I think that's just natural. That's a natural yeah. thing. Yeah. Like, and I play, sport. I play sports. That. You know. Yeah. yeah. I was an athlete, so I look at it like okay. an athlete. Like, what did you play? I played football and basketball. Okay. What were you playing in football? What position? I played fucking. I played cornerback and safety. Oh. Um, they That's know why I'm playing little neighborhood football. Nah, high school. <laughs> nah, nah, high school. After high school, I stopped playing sports like that. Yeah. Well, I played basketball a little bit, and then I got, you know, something happened, and I just didn't play again. I just didn't yeah. want to play ball no more. You used to be some rise and grind ass niggas. Yeah, I was, I was nice, though. Yeah. Were you one of those guys who were just uh, every every uh, other day on Instagram putting up your nah, clips? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah. Yo, yo, check out my huddle tape two years out. Nah, that wasn't with me. That wasn't me. With the purple demon emoji and the fire yeah. shit and all yeah. that. With a 100. I, I, tried, yeah. I tried doing it. It didn't work. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, it didn't work. Gotcha. I mean, as long as you found a passion, you know, positive passion. Yeah, sports yeah. is a positive passion. Yeah, it's so like is music. I look I mean, at it like music, kind of. Yeah. In a way. Like the same, like, you have to be focused. Mm-hmm. The same way you focus in but sports, you, you got to focus on music. Yeah, you can yeah. make music at a high level for the rest of your life. Sports, exactly. unfortunately, you know, everybody's going to, it's going to come to an yeah, end. And you know, when that, whether you're 20 and you don't make college or whether you're 35 and you have to retire. I mean, yeah. it's, it's the same thing right there. That shit is sad. It is. It is. So that's why you got to get on that, like, adult Sunday league grind type yeah, shit, you know? Type shit. Yeah, go out to the bar afterwards. You know, <laughs> I'm too recreation. young for the bar. I can't go to the bar yet. Oh, yeah. Nah, we're going to sneak him. We're trying to sneak, I've been trying to sneak him in for yeah. a while, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. I've been... Yeah. I be, I be, I'm, I'm gonna have to try to get him in there. Twenty one's a blessing, but I want to stop aging now. <laughs> yeah. I, now that I'm twenty one, I don't. Know. Once you hit twenty one, it's like, all right. Yeah. This is it. My back hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm starting to find, like feel little things. That I work in retail, so I'm up, always on my oh, feet. Fuck retail. So yeah. Have you been in retail before? I fucking have. My first job. You well, so my first actual job. Cause I've been working since I was a kid, just doing shit here and there. And then my first actual job was in, in, in Paxson. Oh. Yeah, some some crazy shit. But I'm not gonna lie, I had a um I had a lit ass manager. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a lit ass shout out shout out Steph, bro. I fuck with, I fuck with her. Shout out her. Um mm-hmm. she was cool. Yeah. And then after that, I fell off that. Started doing other shit. Mm-hmm. And I went to Zoomies. And I was like, yeah. Oh man. Wait, which one? <laughs> it was about Phil. Was Kate your manager? You were the green nah, uh, no, no. Nah. Okay. But I, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. She I got glasses. She bounced around like a little bit. She had glasses. Maybe now nah, she's 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 into women. Oh, I mean, shout uh, out, shout out to the lesbian. Yeah, I don't know. That's like the best way I can like describe her. I guess she didn't have green hair back then. That's like such a. Nah. That's like a okay. Nah. Yeah, I, so I think I missed out off. On. Yeah. Right. Hell that's yeah! Like, you gotta really like want to sell. You gotta be competitive. I'm not. I'm not. I'm only competitive with this music shit. Like everything <laughs> else, you can have that. Like, yeah. Sales and shit. You want yeah. the sale, nigga? Take it. Bro, bro, I don't even care. Hey. I literally just go to work to chill and have conversations with customers. Maybe, like, talk yeah. to a girl. Maybe. That was that was the littest part bro, about working in retail. That is, like, you, do, you do. You don't feel lonely. Like, that's, like, the no. best thing. Like, you're like, okay, I'm having, like, I'm, I haven't talked to anybody, but at least I got yeah. a shift and I can go there. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It helped me bring on my shell, too, because I'm yeah. shy. Mm-hmm. And so, like, being working in retail, it forces you to, like, it forces you to talk. Mm-hmm, and so that's sure. why I'm appreciative of that experience yes. because it made me like for sure. made me want to talk to mm-hmm. people. You can definitely, I think, get so much more out of working in retail than working in food. Like when I met these guys through Chuggy Cheese and Hempstead, when I was in the fucking kitchen, I mean, I oh think you God. can totally, yeah, I can 
take a lot more from working in the mall than doing that because at least I'm understanding customer service and sales and things like that. And where were you at? Yeah. Uh, I'm at Tilly's now. Okay. So really like the rival. Exactly. Yeah. Literally like mm-hmm. you you can't yeah. be fucking with you. You right. said tripping, but it's alright though. <laughs> what about you? Have you had any whack ass jobs or are you? Hell no. Alright, stay out of that, bro. <laughs> Hell no. I had no none of that. Yeah. Yeah. I tried. I tried. Okay. Anyway, he didn't work for you. Yeah, he tried to give me like an application and shit. We went to the mall. I was like, get Yo. the fuck. I was like, get the, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I right, so, ran out. So crazy shit, right? Yeah. So basically, we went to the mall and this nigga was some like. He was like some scary nigga. I went in there. I told niggas, yo, this is my this is my little brother. He just moved here from fucking from Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah. Like, can you please give him a job? Yeah, like try to get a job God. or some shit. And he, and he would some come up. <laughs> I come up with some weird nigga shit. Oh, I couldn't nigga. talk or some shit. Just so I can get the job. I'm like, yo, I can't do this shit. He said, Wait, hi. Did you come up with an accent? Yeah, I came like everything. You know you have to hold that accent too, like when you start working there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, man. I just needed some shit. Nah, I need man. some money. I'm like, I can't do this shit. Yeah. When we when we hit, all right. So the the last place we hit was the Disney store, mm-hmm. and the fucking the nigga there tried to play yeah, us. Dude. He tried to play us like we wasn't like really about the shit. I wasn't about shit. Though, he wasn't yeah. about shit though. He started talking to me about superheroes. I'm like, yeah, fucking um. I said some shit about Batman because I yeah. fuck with Batman. He was like, yeah, Batman's cool. Like, what do you like, man? Yeah. This nigga said, yo, I fuck with I fuck with Static Shock. <laughs> You know, bro, I'm, bro, I'm not into shit like, like I'm cool, like I'm cool with little superheroes, but I'm not into shit like that. I just wanted money, bro. Right. I'm like, yo, bro, you ask me questions, I can't answer you and shit. Yeah. I'm like, I just need some, I need a job, bro. He was yeah. like, bro, you at the wrong place. I'm yeah. like, Damn. the Disney store. I can't picture this nigga being in the Disney store anyway, bro. Yeah, like the Rugrats going from rapper who on the side works at the Disney or no yeah. Disney store who raps. Yeah. Talking about oh slap you in the face, and I'm trying to sell you a fucking yeah. a Sully yeah. or a Mike Wazowski from yeah. the fucking. my life, bro. Nah. nah. I, I man, I don't blame you. Especially Disney story. I, I would rather be unemployed, honestly. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, I, I couldn't. To be that. honest, yeah. So, do you guys, uh, you guys have any other hobbies? I know you're into wrestling and whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, we'll fact. get to that a little bit later after we talk about that. the music when we get some some extra time. So, uh, so when you guys started coming together and um, releasing tracks, how was the feedback? And how did you guys feel releasing tracks together? It was crazy. It was fire. Like nah, it was yeah. stupid. Yeah. But like anything we did, we couldn't like. You couldn't miss, bro. Like mm-hmm. if we put anything out, they're gonna eat it up. Like yeah. they're gonna eat it up automatically. Still to this day, like like if we put it out and we it's got our stamp on it, like fine. niggas know what time it is. Like yeah, yeah, like I remember um <clears throat> when we put Shining out, like the first time we put it out, I put it on the bus. I told my man to put it on the speaker, but mm-hmm. they didn't know it was me. Yeah. And everybody in the bus is like, "Yo, this shit is fire!" Like what song is that? It's a 3K, and they was like, I was asking me. They was like, that's you? I'm like, yeah, bro, on the bus. They was like, bro, you don't sound like you from the Dale, though. I was like, what does that mean? They was like, <laughs> no. I thought you yeah. was from, like, Atlanta. Like, that sounds like some Atlanta shit or something. It don't sound like you from the Dale, though. I'm uh-huh. like, yeah, bro, that's me. Like, mm-hmm. And they was like, yeah, bro, y'all fire. Because yeah. y'all in the Dale, y'all don't sound nothing like everybody else. Y'all don't sound right. Right. Y'all at the time, the Dale was, was It was very distinctive. Like, you know yeah. the Dale sound. Like, you know you had, Dale. like, the what Dale. What was the Dale sound back then? You know, you had, um. Shout out to, you know, Rico. You know, you had the niggas going crazy. Yeah, like, shout out to all those people. I feel like that that was like. If if you listen to Rico, that's like um, that's like the epitome of like, what what it was sounding like at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was going crazy. Opinion. He was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. he had yeah. to deal with. He definitely had it lit for. Cause when I moved here, that's the only nigga I was hearing about. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He was like, the nigga. Is he yeah. still around? I mean, yeah, he, he out here. Maybe I'll get him yeah. all. I mean, if I can roll yeah. this, shit, I'll get them all. Shit, if it's just fire, that is. But you guys have like a very dis- yeah, it is a very distinct sound. I think it's a sound that a lot of people can um, fuck with. I think. Just underground hip hop yeah. fans, like people who like spitting spitters, <laughs> they'll fuck with it. I think um, anybody who, who who has my taste in music will fuck with it. Um, so you definitely check a lot of boxes. If it's hard hitting, I think you can something you can bop your head to, but you can go crazy to at the same time. It's very versatile, and you guys have definitely a distinct sound. Because when when I first heard you guys, I'm like, okay, or I think I think George introduced me to you guys. He's like, okay, this is this is awesome. This is Sky, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, got it, and yeah. then I'm like. Now I look at the other songs. I'm like, okay, that's him. That's yeah. it's very distinctive. You two, yeah. you two definitely sound different, but it goes together well. Yeah, very how very does good. chemistry in the studio? Like, how do you guys? How is the chemistry? How does it develop? What what what's the studio session with you two like when you guys? Oh my together? god, it's scary! It's, it's scary! It's really? nutty. We've had niggas, yeah, come, niggas in. come there and be like, "Yo, this is fucking crazy." It's like it's out. like yeah. For niggas who go to the studio and have fun, mm-hmm. it look like jail. It looks like really? jail. It's like like there be days I'm like. Taking out my hair, like yo, I gotta yeah. fucking do this shit. Like, there was a point in time when we went up. so crazy in the studio, we chopped our hair, like we yeah, we cut, cut our, our hair, hair like, bald. There's a whole picture, like we'll show you. Yeah, later. yeah. We, like, we, we had hair, like yeah. a whole breakdown, just like yo, fuck everybody, <laughs> fuck everything. We gotta yeah. get the, the tape that we dropped. Yeah, that was we that had was to. Like, yeah. First of all, we had a lot of songs that didn't make the tape, mm-hmm. and we had to like we cut like a, we
did it again. Wow. Yeah. And we right. went crazy making that tape, bro. Like, yeah. the shit that you hear on there was just the best cuts that we had. But yeah. there was mad shit. We had a lot of songs. We just cut. Like, the yeah. definition, if you looked up locked in in the dictionary, like, us at that time, mm-hmm. was that that was it. So what would a day look like for you then? Shit. Wake up or whatever and eat whenever, but for um, how long recording? Probably don't even, this nigga don't, probably for this nigga not even eat. I like, don't eat like that, bro. Mm-hmm. When we tell you, <laughs> when we in the studio, we in the studio. Like, okay. that's 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 what it is. For real. Okay. So I mean we'll we'll tap in, um, depending on whatever time, like and then <clears throat> Don't it, leave until the next day. We won't leave until the next morning. Wow. Um yeah. and honestly it, it just depends, like if we have beat like beats prepared, mm-hmm. we'll we'll go there. Like I, I get anxiety and like I have stage fright and shit like that. So I like to record by myself. Mm-hmm. This nigga don't really give a fuck. Like, cause yeah. I'll be I engineer the all of our shit. Like, okay, okay, good. So he has no choice but to go, like, crazy. go crazy in front of me. So, mm-hmm. gotcha. um, yeah, it, it's kind of like we'll click up, go there, and he punches in all the time. Like he'll freestyle and punch in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just freestyle um, everything. Like literally every yeah. song you hear from me, uh, at least my part. It's okay. freestyle. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And you just take the best freestyles. I just, I just say shit. I'm like, yep. that sounds hard. Keep it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, so is it? So for that, do you run the beat a couple times? You're like, ah, I don't really run that back. I'll, I'll do a different freestyle. We barely even run beats. Like this, really. I just like yo, put me on. Okay. I'd be like, yo, put me, put, like he'll listen to the beat for a second. And be like, yo, just let, let's go. Yeah, put let's me go. on. Okay. I'll just wow. start you saying. You just have so. an idea. That's yeah, I'm just wow. like, okay, I'll yeah. say something. I'm like, okay, I like how I said it. Mm-hmm. Let's go again. Cause that is a talent. Oh I, yeah, yeah. Some people like me, they don't naturally have that type of shit. Yeah. We don't have that. There's I, no yeah. way I could. I have a hole. I say I have a hole in my brain. I could never freestyle, <laughs> bro. Like it just doesn't click. But if it does, I mean, shout out to you guys yeah, for that. It. You know, because that's another thing. If you guys get up uh, an opportunity to do ciphers or things like that, where you guys can literally just go up that there and just knock it yeah, out, real, shit. right, right, real quick, yeah. one take type shit. I'm not gonna cap. I get amazed looking at this nigga do his shit though, because I'm the type of nigga where like I forget. Same thing. I got a hole in my like. If if I don't write something down, mm-hmm. I'll forget it. If it's okay. like real clever, and I'll, I'm fucked. So right, like. I have to write shit down. So you, are you like kind of more like the piece? Uh, you you freestyle something like okay, I'll take that, I'll write that down, and then I'll piece it together with something else. Or honestly, um, I cheated. I cheated a lot. Like um, I cheated a lot. Like poetry. I'll sit okay. there and I'll I'll just continue to write mm. until I'm like okay, this is enough, and then yeah. I'll read it over and I'll just take out the best bits. Gotcha. And okay, then cool. you know that'll be that. I, I I try not to go back a lot. Like if mm-hmm. it's if it's coming out, it's coming out. Right. That mm-hmm. type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. And are you one of those? Are you those people that you like to take? You know, I'll record a couple of days in two, in a week, and then I'll take a couple of days off to gather my thoughts, and then I'll just go out again. Or yes, absolutely. I can't. I, there's been certain times, like for me personally, um, and, and I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll let you know too. Like for me personally, like I'm I'm the type of person where I'll record one day, mm-hmm. and I'll be completely happy with that, and then I'll give myself a break just because it's like I don't want everything to have like. Of course, it comes from the same place. You know, it's cohesive, like. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't want it to to all come from the energy from that day. Mm-hmm. I want to experience something different and then have that energy um, on a new track. So I'll give myself a couple of days. Yeah. To experience something new, mm-hmm. and then I'll come back and I'll put all that energy. I probably won't talk about everything that happened. Yeah. You know, I might throw some subs in it, but beside that, like, just energy. Gotcha. I'll give myself the time to mm-hmm. to get the energy. Yeah. Hey. I feel that. What about you? Are you the same way or? Uh, like recording and shit. Yeah, you like someone who can just record nonstop, or you just need those couple of days. I can to record. Get I don't. I don't get tired, so I can record literally fucking from now until like two days. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't because I have AD. I like I have ADHD and shit like that. Okay, yeah. So like, I can record like mm-hmm. I'm jumping like four o'clock in the morning. He's like he's dead and on like. Yo, tired. nigga, there's been times where we sitting there and I'm falling asleep. Like my head is on the keyboard, bro. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just like, yo, let's go, let's go, no. let's go, man. I swear to gosh, I'm alive. Get get to our age. Get, yeah, you got a couple years. I'm telling yeah. you, I think you you age big time. Wow, you 18, 19? I'm 19. 19? Yeah. Wait till you're 20. Just wait, like that. Nah, it, I've been just, like that since I was a kid. Like I always been some energetic ass, mm-hmm. like crazy nigga. Yeah. So I was like. Mm-hmm. That's why it just worked for me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys, but in your case, you come back to the studio and you're just so excited and you got like all these ideas oh, that yeah. you just want to put out there. Yeah. That's great. I feel like if, if I don't give myself the time, because I'm the type of person that gets bored fast. If, mm-hmm. I'm in, if I'm in the studio every single day, I'm afraid that um, I'll get bored. Yeah. And so therefore, like, even though this is this is my life, I just, I don't want to treat it like it's a job. I want to treat it literally like this is it's fun. Man. It's art. Like, yeah. So I want to have fun. So. Yeah. yeah, I take I take the time that's necessary. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't take too long because then when you wait too long, I feel like you lose it. Yes, yes, I agree. You know, definitely. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. when it comes, it fucking comes crazy, bro. Pull is wild, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, so I want to get into some of these tracks here. 
can slaves run fades? I told you this before. So what is what is behind that title? Honestly, bro, I talk, man. Honestly, bro, I just be teed up, bro. Like I swear to gosh, bro. Like I just be teed. Like I just be in the studio. Like yo, I'm about to say some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Freestyle. Fuck it. Freestyle. That sounds hard. Keep it, bro. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Same thing with the titles like this. Yeah, titles like yo. Yeah. I was like. I don't know what I don't know. I was in school when I, when I told him. Yeah. yeah, and I was thinking about slaves or some shit. Like, so were you taking slaves like in terms of a a process standpoint where you know we go through school and we're taught this and that and we're like, oh, no, 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 hell no. No, in terms of like you have to fit the status quo. Like, okay, yeah. you gotta go. Not for you. you have yeah. no, it was none about that. Not like that. I don't okay. even think about school. I okay. fuck school. Yeah, I'm not literally. All right, so literally. I, I fuck with what you're saying though. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like we can we can talk about that shit too. Right? Like I want to have. I think that'd be an interesting yeah. song too, though. Yeah. But um, I felt uh, he Facetime me one day yeah, yeah. and was like, "Yo, we're Slaves gonna call fade. this shit can Slaves one face." <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do it all caps. I swear to God, my life. We're gonna chop it happened. today. I'm like, but I was in class just thinking about like slaves, and I'm like, yo, like, <laughs> like really the thing about slavery like, Harry and shit. Harry, I'm just like, yo, like, were they fighting those niggas? Like. But they like shaking oh, okay. like. So this is like some yeah, like, like shit. Yeah, like. Okay, okay. I'm like, yo. Can run wow. like. That's Cause crazy. in a song, I'm like, pussy boy talking shit. And beat him like, you know what I'm saying? I beat him like a slave. Yeah. I said okay. that, you know. Shout yeah. out to the, you know, the slaves. Shout not out trying to the slaves, bro. Like, but I was yeah. like, yeah, that was part of the song. And I said it freestyle. And I'm like, yo. I really thought about that. Like, do they fight? Like, did, were they fighting? Like, yeah. It know? didn't take me till after that song to think about that. Like, yo, did slaves actually like run phase? Because nigga, <laughs> yeah. it's only so long you get whipped before you like you start <laughs> right. doing the whipping, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, only so long. Like, <laughs> right, yeah. Or so, they, they would go and jack another plantation and get a bunch of these guys yeah, out. Yeah, like, nigga, they got guns. You in the South, they got guns. You yeah. don't feel like it's the right time for y'all to be like, you know what? There's a hundred niggas in this field reaping fucking cotton. How, oh. about we, how about we stampede this house real quick? Like, oh, my God. Yeah, get crazy. some of these guns, dog. Like, uh-huh. for real, sleep. Uh-huh. Yeah, get tea. Damn. Shout out to the slaves, mm-hmm. man. But yeah, definitely freestyle, though, bro. Yeah. Like, just freestyle. But yeah. So then you have some songs on your on your own, and I just want to know how. So you have like Flood, for example, oh, God, locked yeah. in. Those are your songs. You got last year. So how is it? Are you recording together when those songs are oh, yeah. happening? I'm, I'm still guys? in the studio with him. Oh, yeah. He's okay. still. I'm I'm doing it by myself, but he's in the studio with me because I'm engineering him. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So how is it a different approach when you do a solo, solo song? song? Yeah. Definitely different. Cause me yeah. and him are great together, but separately, like we're two different artists. I always say like. We live in the same city, but we're in two different. Yeah, parts like, of and our, so we had like okay. this little thing in our yeah. head when we believe like, basically we make music. We try to like create our own world. Yeah, yeah. In our music. Okay. So we feel like we're in the same like the same world, the same world, just two different areas. Yeah. And, okay. So you know. So when we come together, it's, it's, it's just tough. It's a yeah. fucking okay. fucked two up different place. Yeah. That type shit. But um, I, I like when when I'm recording, like let's say Flood for example. Mm-hmm. Um, Flood was kind of like the product of. Like wrestling, and I'm trying to okay. tee up. Which which wrestling or a match or a moment? Of um, honestly, sometimes I'll just put it on just to watch it, so I have some chaotic going on. Cause I yeah. feel like personally, my world is chaos. Okay. Like the world that I exist in is like this chaos going on 24 seven. Mm-hmm. I feel like old wrestling, Adds it kind of touches shit. on that. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like Attitude Era, like 2001, like that type of shit. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. So. I have it in the background, and I remember I just had it in the background when I was recording Flood, and um, I just started freestyling, and there's a line in there, Leo the Cat, don't do the capping, and for some reason, that line, like, that's like my favorite line, because I fuck with Leo DiCaprio heavy, like, never, I've never seen Titanic, but Wolf of Wall Street, okay. that was my yeah. shit, because he was the, a fucking maniac. Yeah. So I was thinking my whole, like, the whole time I was making that, I was like, yo, what would fit in a Wolf of Wall Street, like, okay. movie? Gotcha. So I feel like if you if you play that song over that movie, uh-huh. you know it, it would make sense. So honestly. every every bar that you had there was just okay. This word, this matches up. This matches yeah. up. This matches up. Because oh. I'm I'm mad inspired by like film and mm-hmm. stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a very visual person. Okay. And so usually I, I approach things like how would this fit within uh, the realm of like a movie? Okay. Or if I was cool. scoring something, um, what would the scene be based around this song? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So even even with like locked in. Um, mm-hmm. I just thought about riots. Like, I don't know if you ever seen like Riot Rave. It's like an ASAP rock. It's like some old shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I had that on a loop because it's just mad. Like, heads going crazy and like throwing shit and like it's some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And so yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, all, it all ties back into like the energy aspect. Right. And you if know? you ended up doing videos on these, you would have that, that aspect that you would try to bring. Or? Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. When it, they'll they'll be here soon. They'll be here soon. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> it's late. I'm telling you. So then, what what about you for a song like last year? Uh, just since you know, don't be broke, man. Like mm-hmm. gangster, like yeah. <laughs> I made a show. I was like, yo, like I'm like I found the beat, played it, you know, a little bit. I'm like, yo, put me on the mic, set some shit. I'm like, yo, that sounds hard. Mm-hmm. Last year, you know, I was broke. This year, now I'm rich. Yeah. You sitting on a bus stop now, you know. Crazy. Yeah, it was like real shit, like, like some deal shit, real. like yeah, yeah, like you know, it was a real song. Like mm-hmm. I got my niggas. I'm in my dream, like in my head, I feel like. We used to walk to the bus stop. Now niggas is, you know, going crazy. Like now yeah. niggas is about to, you know, I feel like we about to blow up very soon. So it's yeah. like I just wrote that, you know, affirmation. Right. Like exactly. now a nigga in the six, okay. you know, type of shit. Right. So it's it's, 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 it's inspiration. Where, you, where yeah. you're at, yeah. Yeah. You want to do one on uh, my podcast? Yo, we came up from this um, stupid ass house. Yeah. On the, yeah. You gotta, you gotta specify blue. My uh, blue snowball microphones, exactly. you know, fucking recording yeah. on GarageBand in a, yeah. in a frat house. Exactly. Like, like yeah. I was telling you, bro, I was recording on this shit in Audacity. I had these that microphone oh, into Audacity. Shit. Audacity, wow. Like if I took them, shits is all private because I like to go back and listen. But mm-hmm. I'll show you them. Like if you listen to them old ass songs, the quality was wacky. Yeah. But you gotta do what you gotta do, and it's a lit ass spot. I'm not even about to cat. Right. It's a lit yeah. ass spot. It's a cool spot. It has it has so much potential. That's oh yeah. Yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. We're in by the way. We're in my um off-campus house at the moment if you guys didn't know love to get a studio one day maybe okay so we'll take let's take 10 bands and fuck boy where you guys are working together oh, yeah. now oh, yeah. yeah fuck boy is a high energy song oh, man oh yeah so was were you still in that point where you're like oh yeah it's a jail cell still here so it? it still was or was it a little more fun kind of basically i was transitioning flood came out after that okay i was in a transitional period at that time i was going from like real like punch you in the fucking face like real real crazy nigga to yeah. like yo i'm smooth bro like yeah like i was finally starting to film myself and that's how flight came about but mm-hmm. when we made that song i didn't even want to put a verse on yeah, it yeah it was no. it's, it's my song at first i just kind of like doing my own thing okay and i'm like yo like yeah. hopping over me like it's for the tape like he was like nah yeah. mm-hmm. he was like you know he was holding he didn't really want to put a verse on it yeah. i'm like yo this is just hard see you, bro yeah, see just, just see what you could do i'm like yeah. yo just try something on it because in my head i'm like you can't tell me it's not hard like i know yeah, it's it hard so yeah. you gotta know it's hard yeah. Yeah. i definitely know it's hard i was yeah. just like i was so like i'm on mr rick owens and burberry shit like mm-hmm. i was trying like be on my like gq smooth yeah to the point where i was like yo i don't know if i could do this like it's not where my head is at yeah and then somehow I got oh, up there and freestyle. I didn't like freestyle like one like a word or some shit like that. And then I started writing everything else. Yeah, he's really yeah. black. You and know, then, I just you know, I, yeah. I just freestyled it. <laughs> it was like yeah, it but I, everything's a freestyle for me. Yeah. And he, yeah. he he he, you know, he knows like it's be going yeah. crazy. Like yeah. same thing for Ten Ben, and, and it's weird. Ten Ben's is the only song where we both freestyle. Yeah. Okay. Freestyle. Yeah. Oh, that shit. We, we finished that be- song in like five minutes. In five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. <dude. laughs> like if it sounds, if that's it sounds, one, yeah. But that's the best five minute song I've ever seen. I heard Yonkers yeah. even took ten minutes, and that shit yeah. took longer than yeah. you did. Uh, yeah, that, that shit, shit was like, like five minutes, bro. I feel, so I feel like one, one went up to spit, then the other guy goes up. Yo, and, it happened that yeah. fast. I feel like that was the fastest the song, song ever we've ever done. Ever. Like, mm-hmm. I had the beat already. I might put it on. Said a couple lines, freestyled it. Cause when that beat came in, that beat came in different. Yeah, the beat was yeah. fire. I was like, what the fuck? I, I never rapped on that shit, so I took yeah. it as a challenge. It was like, a whole new sound. Crazy. Gotcha. So what was uh? Where do you get your, your beats from? And YouTube. YouTube. Oh my gosh. Yo, YouTube, this nigga YouTube. put me onto that. Cause I remember I used to be some Hollywood nigga. I was like, yo, I'm not fucking rapping until I get a pack. I'm not rapping until I get a pack from somebody. He was like, yo, my nigga, like, you no, realize yeah. where we at right now? Like, yeah. we in the hood. We're in the hood, though. Like. You gotta get it how you live it, though. Get it how like, you get it. Like, I'm right. like, yo, fuck it. If I gotta get on YouTube, I'm getting on YouTube. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. fuck it. Right. That's, yeah. how, that's how I was on it. And shout out to all the YouTube producers that don't get no credit, man. Cause I know them niggas be going crazy. Like, and yeah. when you when you finally find some shit that's like fire on the tube, bro, like, you can go crazy. Yeah. You can sure. go crazy. There's a fantastic library yeah, of stuff. On, yeah, on YouTube. Okay. You just gotta look for it. Yeah. I feel like if you can look for it, you're not gonna yeah. find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta be in. T- First of all, you gotta be in tune with yourself too, because mm-hmm. you gotta know what you want to sound like. Yeah. So, is there a sound that you when you go and look for beats? Is there a sound yeah. that you're kind of yes. going for, yeah. or you just okay, cool, definitely. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So, what about slow? Ooh. Oh, that's his song. I just hopped. I just, honestly, I just, I just hopped on it. Like, it's his yeah. song though. Like, so the same thing for Fuckboy. It's kind of like what happened yeah, in basically. the studio, except he wanted to hop on it. Yeah. I, okay. to, so, I mean, slow. I sent him that. Um, I sent him that. Did I send it to you, or did yeah. I just play? Ah, right, yeah. So I sent him. Cause everything I play, like everything I make, goes to him. Okay. I don't show nobody else. 
Yeah, Except I kind of like give the stamp, like, okay, yeah, okay. this is fire. He's so the even nigga. if it's an individual song, you'll send yeah. it to him. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I tell yeah, him, like, shit. if I don't like something, I'll yeah. tell him. And, and I, tr- I trust, trust him enough. Yeah, 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 he'll know, because right. he'll black play something, I'll just be like, yeah, We both look at each other like it's not it. Like, at the end of the day, like, I know when something's fire. But yeah, I need yeah. I need to send it to yeah. him so because he's got like that ear so yeah, I, I gotta know, send it to him type shit yeah so That's I awesome. sent him slow and he was like yo this is crack I'm like thank you so we didn't think nothing of it I played it for him in the stool yeah and he's like yo wait a second like let me put let me put a verse on this <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was, thinking, I was like yeah I missed this like yo he I yo, haven't made music like that in a long time I was yeah. like I was like going through like a phase of just like yeah. singing and shit okay just like yeah. some other shit yeah you trying to be some singing nigga he was like yo bro. Had yeah. his nose up. Yeah, I'm a singer yeah. now. I, call, I called him like yeah. three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm a singer now, bro. I'm a singer like, now. What dog? the fuck are you talking about? I was like, it's in my heart, man. Like, I gotta do it. Like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, like he said, yo, I'm only inspired by singing niggas. Oh I'm God. only inspired by niggas who sing now. No wait, who? What singers were you inspired by? Bro, I was inspired by anybody who could fucking sing. Okay. Drake, this fucking got a feature with Drake. Sweat. Yeah, like Drake, fucking yeah. The yeah. Weeknd. Uh huh. Kelly, you just everybody. Okay. If you sing, I was in, I was into you. Shout I just, I just like singing. Like I feel like singers, their lyrics are so like fire. Like they, yeah. they have, they have, they know how to write music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it takes time. Yeah, like they know how to like really make music. And mm-hmm. I'm really into like the craft of just trying to make music the yeah. right way. I mean, that's not right way, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. try to structure it. You know, mm-hmm. make it. You know. Yeah. And shout out to Kelly Uchi's girl. I'm trying to put some in her sonogram. Oh she's so fire, bro. You see her? You know her, right? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. she's stupid thick. What? And yeah. she's talented. And she's talented. making money. Yeah, she Yo, bad. she's, yeah, she, she, yeah. She's got everything. She's a bad bitch, for real. Yeah. Her music is fire. Shout out to her. Yeah. But, so are you going to go into singing um, serious on these tracks? Are you ever going to incorporate it, or? I mean, we had, like, one singing song, kind of. Okay. Oh, yeah, everything. On my, also on my SoundCloud. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. We, we, we was both on that type of time. Um, mm-hmm. We was bouncing off, um. Cause uh, there was a point in time yeah. where I was inspired by singing niggas too. Like I went to like a whole Drake phase. Yeah. Okay. I was just bumping only Drake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he put yeah, he yeah. got me onto that too. Yeah. Well, we was only bumping Jaded. Yeah, it's like a song like called a Jaded. Month. And we, Scorpio. Yeah. And we it was, was bumping it. the same song. Cause I was going through some shit with like girls. Me too. And shit. We was going through we shit with bitches oh, at the yeah. same time. Yeah, so we had yeah. like yeah. a problem. Yo, whenever the bitches start, it's all <laughs> yo, whenever they start acting up, so I was like a whole phase of month of no rap, just straight R and B music, straight R and B. And he got me on that sad boy shit. So we was both. Just in this state of like despair, bumping Drake for a month, singing in the fucking in the stool. Dude, you want to know what my uh, my low was? So I, I I was I was having the same thing over a girl. Oh my god! You know what I resorted to? Seventeen by X. Oh my god! Fuck that is nah, that shit like, lit though. That shit, but that's like that's on like real nah, sad yeah. boy shit. Nah, yeah. Like, I was I was listening to more peep. Ever, this is before peep died. Oh, before shit. peep died. So I was like listening to more peep than I ever had in my entire oh, life. Nah. I'm like peep is so car shopping. So t- I put niggas on a peep, man. Yeah, niggas, niggas ain't wanna fuck a peep until I part, put niggas on. Lil Peep Part One. That is the yeah, the star shopping's on there. Like those, I think, are the best tracks. His first mixtape yeah. was so good. He put me on. I remember when he put me on. I wasn't jagging it. And then after, yeah. I was one of those time. niggas. Yeah. After he yeah. died, I, was I like, saw Let it. Me though, give him a I'm like, yo, this nigga is f- like, y'all gotta fuck with him. Yeah, and everybody was not only him. Everybody was like, nah, I ain't fucking with this nigga. I'm yeah. like, yo, I'm telling you, he's hard. He was hard. Yeah. Same thing with Six Dogs. Yeah, I don't know six, if you ever remember yeah, six dogs. Yeah, I do know it's his fire. Yeah. Tell my mama say <laughs> he put me up to that. It's a tough sound. Well, his yeah. is tough because he's monotone. Yeah, it's tough to get used to. He doesn't really have much inflection in his voice. It's but tough it's for the so monotone. Cool. Like, yeah, it's cool to a certain extent. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but yeah, that that listening to that that yeah. I could only imagine the state of fucking of despair you was in at that point, bro. Yeah, because nah. seventeen and then little people on top of that is like yeah. that's like I'm Sad crying. Crazy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's some really crazy shit. So how was doing shows together? Uh, it's lit. It was lit. But hating yeah. to do shows. Yeah. Nah, now I kind of hate it. But it was lit when it first started. It so, so how was like the <clears throat> first show? When you liked it, how was it? Well, our first show was like 2017. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's when everybody was here though. Not only That's me and him was like we had the whole group. We had the group still. We was. Like, I was like young nigga. Though. I was the youngest in the group, so it was lit for me. Okay. Like, I went to school the next day, tired and shit. Like we went, and then I came to school like the next day. Just like, mm-hmm. everyone's like, cause they, they knew I was rapping in school at that point. Yeah. So my teacher be like, why the fuck you sleeping in class? <laughs> like he had a show. I saw it. Everyone was like, you know the bitches be like he had a show. Like look look. And they show my teacher some shit. I was like yeah whatever. She's like you're a rapper now. You know how teachers are. Yeah. Oh you want to rap? Especially here, I feel like there's more rappers than where I'm at. Where I'm yeah. From. Like, yeah. Over um, here everybody raps. Everybody right? raps. So it's mm-hmm. like or everybody knows a rapper. Yeah. yeah so that's you know. how I'm at. Huh? You just gotta find a talent Not everybody's got it um, Man. So then Man. what made you start Disliking the shows Just You know Reaching
And I'm not gonna say like, oh, we're Hollywood. Yeah. But like. No, you worth. You like you gotta know you, you gotta, gotta know, know your worth. worth. Like know your worth. Yeah. Like you're not getting paid. Price, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, like, bro. Like I don't got time to be doing this. Yeah. Like, when the crowds, when the crowd, like there, when when we when we there's certain shows that we did where the crowd was crazy, and then there's certain shows that when we the did crowd where the crowd was, was fucking dead. And I can't afford, not not for like where we at right now personally. Like I can't afford to be not around. And bills crowd. too. No, I hate yeah. fucking fifteen niggas on one bill, bro. Yo, yeah. Like, I hate when there's a whole bunch of niggas on yeah. the bill, bro. That shit yeah. gets me aggravated. I do, I think it's like four guys. Yeah, if it's like yeah. five niggas and shit, I just I'm like, I don't want to go to that shit. Yeah. Especially if I don't fuck with the five niggas, or I don't know any of them. Yeah. Like, but if I, if I know like one or two of them, it's like whatever, we'll do the show yeah, together. We'll do the show. I'll get lit with you on the stage, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, but like when it's like thirty niggas that you plus don't know that I don't know. Yeah, and they that, music. Nah, not thirty niggas, but like you know what I mean. Like a lot, I mean, a lot yeah, of niggas. Some big like, cars. Yeah, like, see, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of cars and shit. And their music like, is not fire to begin with. Like on the shit. I mean, yeah. it might be fire to some other niggas, but yeah. like not for my standard. Yeah. yeah and I gotta right. sit there and like subject myself to that. Yeah. They're just calling up anybody, and everybody just fill out the, yeah. the card, I guess. And it's not like you know, trying to put the theme to it. It's like yeah, like you want to show where the crowd comes for you. Yeah. Not for five other people. Yeah. You and five others, like they like they know your words. You know they're here for you. Yeah. That's so you know you're really doing something. Shit. When it comes to this music shit, I'm selfish, bro. Like I so, want the crowd. I want my like I want either either it's my crowd or it's our crowd. Got it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't want it to be nobody else's crowd. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. it's, it's at like, that point it's like I don't want it. Yeah, like it's a dub. Like yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I feel that. But you gotta have that hunger. You gotta have that drive. Yeah, you gotta want to be the best. I mean, and that's the best. That's in any aspect of life. So that's another thing. Yeah. When you tapped on, you gotta find the talent. Yeah. I feel like everybody who make art. Has talent, yeah, but they gotta know themselves and they mm-hmm. gotta have the drive to get good with what they're doing. Cause exactly. a lot of niggas, like I, I know I've heard trash before, but I heard potential in the trash to the point where like I know if yeah, they work on trash, it. He's trash, but he's fire. Like <laughs> niggas, niggas be quick to call somebody trash. Like yeah. even I mean I'm guilty of it. Like I, I've mm-hmm. definitely called niggas, but at the same time, like I know if you if you really want this shit bad enough and you work at it, like you'll get better. You'll be yeah yeah. Anybody could be fire, bro. It's just if you want yeah. it. Yeah, rapping's sure. easy, honestly. It's yeah. easy, bro. Everything if else. You want to rap? You can rap, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't matter if you wanted. If you was like, "Yo, I'm a rapper. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm a rapper." I'd be like, "Yeah, rap." Every it's just everything else that come with it is hard. Yeah. yeah. The, the making the art is easy. Making it unique to yeah. yourself. Yeah. That shit is easy because all you have to do is be you. Like I remember when I used to hear niggas say that. I didn't understand it until like after it happened to me, and I was like, "Oh, like the light bulb went off." Gotcha. But yeah. um, yeah, everything else that come with it is, yeah. is the hard shit. Yeah. So what about these crazy bitches you were talking about? Oh my god. You? Yeah. Man, I plead the these bitches ain't <laughs> shit, bro. Like honestly, bro. Like only want one girl. After that, you know, I don't got her no more. But I'm gonna get her. It's lit. I'm gonna get her again. But yeah, like crazy bitches is crazy. Like they crazy, bro. Like crazy bitches are crazy. Bro. Like, like they're literally the city girls. We're talking about city here. girls. City girls. Anybody, any any, city any girl, girl I fucked with. We talking psych ward like psych yeah, ward crazy, girls. Like where the fuck are you? What is what is a a Dale girl like? I haven't. I haven't. Fucked with a Dale like, I, I never, I never really fucked with a Dale girl before. Okay. Yeah, what, what about Long Island or New York girls? New York girls are fire. If you go to the city, they fire. You know mm-hmm. why? Because they bad bitches and they know they worth. Okay. Now, when you talking about on the island, yeah, some bitches be mad. Some insecure. bitches be a little different because you know, like, I feel like it's a whole different type of swag that they carry. Like, mm-hmm. like I said, city girls. If you don't text them for a day, they on some fuck you. Yeah, they're yeah. like, yo, I don't need you, nigga. I, I got five nigga. niggas in my inbox. Yeah, All like right, a, exactly. a, a long. I need shit. that shit. Like, I don't need no yeah. no girl that got like low self esteem and shit. Yeah, talking Child. about where are you? Yeah, where like, are you? Why you not text? Why you not texting me back? I'm like, yo, yeah. if I'm not texting you back, there's a reason why. There's a reason mm-hmm. why. Cause I have my phone on me, so I'm gonna see it. Like, yeah, exactly. Everybody yeah. has their you phone on them. I'll be telling bitches I'm at break dancing practice. <laughs> you break dance? Nah. Nah. I'm I'm I just be telling them that. Like if I don't, if I don't answer, I can see you being like a break dance, like on the side as like a side hobby because you Yo. got like the vibe for it. You know? You really? Yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy? That's not a bad thing. No, that's a good thing. When I was a kid, I used to watch Step Up every single day, and I would try to like pop lock and shit. So that might come in the future. Like I might, I might put out like a DVD. Okay. A very rare, like you know, yeah. breakdancing break outtakes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Like, man. I might be in the next step up too. Imagine a uh, no music saying? video of like Fuck Boy and you just break dancing. Yo, we have a video. We have a video of Fuck Boy and we break dancing. Really? Nah. nah I'm <laughs> we have a video though. It never dropped. Yeah. Yo, oh, okay. that video. I. Right. That that was a weird situation. Like, we have a whole video for this shit. We you have a drop it. I mean, it sucks. That, that takes money. It fucking sucks. We just you don't like, like the, 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 the video. The video sucks. Bro. We literally treat this shit like it's our child, like yeah. it's yeah. a child. Yeah, you so want the highest quality. We I want, understand yeah. that. Yeah. 
Like, if you... And that's the fucked up shit about fucking with, like, videographers and shit, like, that you don't necessarily have a relationship with. It's like, when you pay for it and the video comes out, you, you gotta accept what they give you. What they give yeah, you. That's and if it's bad, it. then you waste it. There's been a few times we wasted money. You wasted a, a lot And we of haven't... We didn't drop shit. I remember one time we took a video... Nigga put Super Mario behind me, put yeah, a star yeah. in my shit. I'm like, yo. And that's not the right vibe. It can be cool, but it's not the right, yeah, it's not the right fit. It was just like, yeah. just like did what he wanted to do. He took right. his own approach instead right. of our approach. Nigga said, yo, stand still. Yeah, he was telling us what to do and shit. He was like, yeah, stay right here. I'm like, stay right I'm here. not standing anywhere. I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like, bro, I like the video how we like. Right, yeah. exactly. So that's what I was, I've, I've interviewed Charlie. I don't know if you guys know that, but who he is. But um, he, he learned how to edit. He learned how yeah. to shoot. Cause he's like, I'm the only one who knows what I truly want in my head. Like I'm exactly. the only one. Sometimes it's like, and he's a director. He goes in there and he says, okay, you shoot this, you shoot that. He works with um, Fifth Ad. I don't know if you know who Fifth Ad. Nah. Is. Okay, but he's he's worked with a few guys out here in Long Island, right. Nassau County, Nassau, Nassau County. He's worked with a few guys out here, and, he, and Chow's really like, okay, this is how I'm gonna be dressed. This right. is the vibe of the video. This is uh, he likes. He's inspired by Quentin Tarantino, big time. Which is so, fire. Quentin's yeah. fire. So shout right. out, shout out to him for that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 uh leading the city boys movement. Yeah, right I know. Like, we we heard this there. Yeah. He's fine. Like shout out him, bro. Shout yeah. out him. Like we know he got his own like his thing going on. So, yeah, that's definitely lit. Mm-hmm. That's definitely so where do you guys want to take your music going forward from from this point? What's coming? Shit, shit. A lot of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of lit shit. Okay. That ass. This okay. mad lit Yo, shit, bro. Like we, yeah. Like when I we be say kidding, about bro, shit. Like, like that, I just lit. Like I don't know how to explain it. I, I, like it just be lit. Like like we took the geeking from like when we was cutting our hair, mm-hmm. and we've been, like we've grown up. Like this yeah. is like a good geek now. Like okay. this is like third day of like a fucking coke bender, and you're fucking like looking out your window. Uh huh. It's like five o'clock in the morning, dog, and you're like, you're like off it, gone, but you're uh-huh. still having fun. Like yeah. that type of geek. Gotcha. It's really fun. The music is cool. It's crazy. It's good. It's yeah. nuts. Way better than mm-hmm. Stupid. Mm-hmm. Stupid. So you guys been working hard and making a lot. You got a lot of shit. A lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of Yo, shit. I'm not gonna lie. There's there's a lot of shit in the vault to the point where it's like, well, he got a lot more songs than me. I don't got that many songs. Okay. Believe it or not. Yeah. I mean, I have like a few. He has a lot though, like crack, like mm-hmm. crazy shit. He like, he plays it to me all the time. I'm like, yeah, you to drop gotta it. drop this shit. I be trying to drop it, but then it's like, I don't know. I be feeling. I be. I be feeling like. Like I said, I'm selfish with my shit. Like I wanna. I wanna know. Like it's the right time. Like yeah. when I'm dropping it, I wanna know that people are gonna fuck with it, and like it's. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. Like and every. Like I said, the energy that goes into making it. it it's like it's special. Mm-hmm. So I, I can't just drop it whenever. Treat right. it fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. But sure. um, it's dropping soon for sure though. I'm just, I'm just excited to get the shit out. Like it's so much. Yeah. Like I haven't. Cause what happened was. Like I said, I found myself, mm-hmm. and I found my sound. Yep. You know, like, cause slaves were like, all that was just me, I feel like, building up to where I'm at right now. Yeah. And so, like, once you find your sound, like, music is easy. Mm-hmm. Once you find your sound, it's easy to make. Okay. And so that's why there's so much. There's so, just so much. Are they going to be coming together in a project, or is it going to be just, like, tracks here, track there, track there? Type it's up for debate right now. Like, yeah, if, yeah. if the world is ready for a fucking a Austin the Margo project... Get then it. they'll get it if they're ready for Austin DeMarco singles. Mm-hmm. They'll yeah, get yeah. the singles. Um, right now, I'm just trying to I'm trying to gauge what they're ready for. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm telling you, if they get a project, they're gonna get a fucking project. Yeah, it's gonna be the craziest shit that they seen. Mm-hmm. If they get singles, still it's gonna be the craziest shit that they yeah, seen. But yeah, you know, the singles gonna be just as effective. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I, I know they will, cause when they stand like they stand out on their own. They do. They really yeah. do. They stand out on their own. Mm-hmm. You know? And then if you're doing one for promotion for an, for a project, yeah. that can set the whole vibe. Oh, yeah. That can get people excited. Yeah. I'll definitely play you some shit after this. Like we we can get into it. I want yeah. get to, I want your feedback, bro. Like where your yeah, head is at. Yeah. You know. But um, for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, I mean, I we, we've hit a pretty good mark. I think. I think. Is there anything else you guys want to say or anything like that? Uh. Or, it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> just know it's fucking. It's fucking. Yeah, man. It's, it's hella lit, nigga. Like yeah. I don't know, man. Just be lit, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm some young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just be yeah. lit. Like mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Like let's just go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck it. Yeah. Let's talk about some wrestling for a little bit. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's let's fuck go. it. We probably got. I can probably do like ten minutes of wrestling. Okay. So uh, you said Attitude Era. Hell yeah. Attitude Era. Hell yeah. Like. So you're the you're the three thousand click. Did you like the click? 
I mean, that's Nash. He made that. So I oh. made three thousand. What he, made, he, was, made, he yeah. made the click. Yeah. Three thousand, like the name three thousand. That was him. Was whole like some oh, dumb yeah. shit. Like, gotcha. and was that when you guys were all no, together? No, that's when I was. He was. He was like. Doing, I was with other yeah. niggas. Basically, my name was Elijah three thousand. Cause yeah. my name's Elijah. That was him. So my name was Elijah three thousand on Instagram. My friend, he was like, "Yo, like that shit look mad long. Like three thousand is a long ass like. <laughs> yeah. Like he was like, "Yo, shorten that shit for like three k or some shit." I'm like. Matter of fact, fuck it. Like Scott, three, like before even Scott, I was like Logic three K. Yeah, and then like only skateboarding shit. Yeah, I was on my skateboarding shit. I didn't even rap. I was just skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was like my name. Wow, man. Type shit. He's gotcha. an yeah, and then eventually it just became like I'm, I'm, I called him one day. I'm like, yo, three K. Like we could be three thousand click. Like yeah. I don't know how to fuck it. Like I guess yeah. Like I heard yeah. click. I know I fuck with like Shawn Michaels and Triple H and like. Scott Hall was like the smoothest nigga. Yeah. Scott Hall yeah. to this day is still smooth. That's so I was who- like Minus obviously it's Scott Hall, you know. I shout out to him for getting over his demons. Like that had a yeah. lot of demons in his life. But yeah, yeah. you definitely have all those guys. I think either Sean or or um or Scott sure. Hall, it's gotta Thank be you. You, it's gotta be one of those two. Thank you. I'm not yeah. gonna cap like yeah. them them niggas they definitely inspired me crazy, like mm-hmm. I don't know. Some about Shawn Michaels and some about Scott Hall too. Like mm-hmm. when that nigga came out, you know what I'm saying, through the fucking two pick at the shit, like <laughs> That was just cool to me, mm-hmm. you know. Like, and the same thing with Shawn Michaels. That nigga was the only nigga like I seen that like that nigga could rock short shorts. Yeah, and still look masculine. Like, exactly. That shit was fire. Mm-hmm. So shout out to them for it. I appreciate you for, for seeing that. Who's your favorite wrestlers? Uh, who's Yo. your short list of your favorites? Short list. I right, so Goldberg. Cause that nigga was wild. My Did dad. Did you see his match against Undertaker? Yeah, shit was. Oh. Yeah, that shit was laughable. All right, you know what I'm saying? It was mad laughable. But he he had he had a moment. He has moments back. Yeah, in the day, I mean, you know, some big time moments. When he was up, like when, when he was on it, like he was all one, bro. Like yeah, he, he had like 140 streak, something like that. He was tough. Yeah, he was tough. Him, mm-hmm. um, Raven. Raven, Raven, wow, yeah, yeah that's cool. One. Cause like I like punk and like grunge and shit like that. Mm-hmm. He just embodied all that. Took it. I was like, it was yeah. fucking extreme. Like he, that was Yo. the madness you were talking about. Yeah, before. Raven is a perfect fucking example. Wild. Yeah, Raven. Rhino is another one I think of. Rhino was lit. Remember yeah. Sandman? Remember they? You know they used to go to the ring on acid. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Him and Sabu, they would do acid. Oh, Sabu makes sense because, dude, that guy got blooded up more than I, more than anybody. Yo. He was. A, I just when I think of Sabu, I always think of barbed wire. They yeah. Just go in and in barbed wire ropes. Like cuts on his shit. Oh cut, like God. sewing his own yeah. shit up. Yeah. He was like. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was fucking crazy, dog. Mm-hmm. Like what? Yeah. Him. You remember? Uh, oh, Jeff Hardy. Of course. I, yeah. That's. I think everybody. In the, if you are a a, rest, a wrestling fan and a rapper. Yeah. He's at the top of the list. Jeff Hardy's like yeah. number one on everybody's list. Yeah. He's. For sure, yeah, especially people like our age. You see that, man. Yeah. yeah. And then, obviously, Stone Cold, because my name is Austin. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of makes sense. Yeah. Know? Like, that. that's, like, my top, because I'm not going to lie. Like, you guys, this nigga, I be, like, mad all the time for no reason. Yeah. On some Stone mad Cold shit. Hell, yo, yo, <laughs> if you catch me, like. You're more mad than me, bro. Yeah. If you catch me and I don't know you, you probably think, like. Seems weird. I'm some weird nigga. You're going to do, like, Stone Cold Pulp and a beard chalk and then like, spray, spray I want motherfuckers to, around? Like, when I'm, like, really, really up there, bro, like, I want to do some shit with, like, Stone Cold, bro. Yeah. Like, like, Try the Zamboni. Drop a Zamboni into, like, something. Just do yeah. something. Have him do, like, a Zamboni shit in, like, a yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Just some wild shit. I watched some old clips of him. Like, I totally forgot about where when he took a cement truck and poured cement in McMahon's yeah. uh, Corvette. And his fucking Corvette. Yeah. Yo, he do... He, yes, yes. And he used to... Uh, again, when he sprayed the fucking beer in the ring. Mm-hmm. He on did that rock, shit. All them, yep. When he fucking... The whole shit he did with, like, The Undertaker, that whole shit. When Undertaker kidnapped him and shit like that. Oh, yeah, bro. Remember that shit? God damn, yes. I love the shit when he would, like, fuck around with DX. When DX went heel, they would just fuck yeah, around. Yeah, and he fucking... There was, yeah. there was this one shit where he fucking set, like, trap. Yep, and the fucking the mm-hmm. rock was like, I I don't look like Stone Cold, <laughs> but this is Stone Cold, and the nigga pops up. He's like, you stupid son of a bitches is running around here. I'm like, oh my gosh, this yeah. nigga's legendary, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, any current wrestlers you fuck with right now? Honestly, like it's I'm gotten s- definitely the parts got a lot yeah. worse. Yeah. I'm like I'm out of the loop with like WWE, but we was talking about like AEW shit yeah. like that. Like, mm-hmm. um, oh AJ Styles is lit off the yeah. strength of the club for sure. Yeah, you know, um. Like you said, Kenny Omega, yeah. you know, Young Bucks. I love what Jericho's doing nowadays. Yo, Jericho's crack. With that weird, like, he's got, like, a weird crow. Like villain, gimmick. Yeah. Gimmick. I didn't, like, I can't, I, I, never, I never pictured that nigga doing that. To me, he's, okay, this is a, a comparison I have. He's, like, you know how Kanye is making a big point? It's like, every project's a little bit different. Yeah. Jericho, I think, is the only guy yeah. that comes out. He 
is 48 years old, yeah. and he's able to come and just change gimmicks. Crazy. And do it well. He went from the rock, the Lionheart, the Lionheart to the rock star, rock star. to um, the serious business suit man, to yeah. the fucking light jacket, to the Yo, festival yeah. friendship shit, to now being the evil now and yeah. being the, 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 that villain character. It's crazy how he went from the list yeah. to this, like... Like that, yeah. I remember when he was when he was the undisputed champ. That nigga was lit, but it was like it was different. It yeah. was different from when he debuted. Yes, when he yes. when he was like, yeah, I'm here to save like Y two J. Like I remember when he de- like seeing that nigga debut was crazy too. Let's mm-hmm. not forget. Like I feel like he's mad underrated, oh, super yeah. underrated. I think he's he's he should be at the when people say greatest of all time. And now nah, he's probably not gonna be the greatest of all time, but he yeah, should nah. be I think around the conversation. Like in terms of okay, if you made a top ten, I think there's an argument that you can make that this guy because of the longevity of his career yeah. and how how impactful he's been, and that he's been able to manage his body right and he's oh, been yeah. able to freshen up his gimmick. Oh yeah, there's no way that most of these other wrestlers are in their forties. They feel so stale, but when you have Jericho, you're like, he's please late. give me ten more years of this. Exactly. Guy. Yeah. Oh, let's not forget Edge, bro. Edge is amazing. Let's not forget Edge. Edge, yeah. When he fucking had sex with <laughs> yeah. Lita in the middle of the yeah. shit. Yo, I remember I begged my mother. I was like, Mom, I really want to watch this match. Cause yeah. I was like nine at the time. I was just some some walking nigga. I was like, Mom, let me let me just watch this. She was like, Yo, you gotta go to sleep, bro. It's like eleven o'clock. I remember I stayed up to watch that shit, bro. I was like, Yes, these niggas over here getting wild. And then John Cena popped out. Ric Flair popped out. I missed those days. Yeah, them days was yeah. lit. Stay mm-hmm. up to nine o'clock, you know. Yeah. Stay up to like at eleven. Right. Go yeah. fucking sleep. Mm-hmm. Damn. And my, my folks knew what time it was. Like on Mondays. Mondays was lit. You're not telling me nothing. Oh, Mondays. Yeah. Mondays was like the days. Like yeah, yeah. I'm staying up. You're not yeah, telling me nothing. Time. Watch she it all. Knew. Yeah. She she knew. And then Thursdays, SmackDown. Friday. Man. Friday. Well, well, it was. They always moved. It was more. Yeah. It's Tuesdays now. It's yeah. They move all the time. The I, I started. SmackDown. I haven't watched it since they started changing it. Yeah. I, I would get on if I were you. AEW and then also New Japan is fucking insane. Oh, yeah, if you New like Japan. watching matches, wow. Yeah, well, they yeah. have a kid named Okada. That well, kid is unbelievable. Well, Osprey, I like the yeah, shit that he's doing too. Amazing. Okada's fired up. Okada, yeah, about. that roster is stacked up with good time. What Kenta's doing now in the G1, Kenta's doing, which is um, Hideo Tommy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, he yeah, He went yeah. over there. Okay. Moxley's doing some crazy shit. Oh, yeah, fuck them. They, they, they had some big losses. Omega's gone. Jericho's like, oh, no, yeah. actually, Jericho's probably going to. He's like back and forth, right? Yeah, he's back and forth, but uh, losing Omega was big. Was in, um, they lost Kushida. Oh, he's shit. in NXT now. So oh, they wow. had some big losses, the Young Bucks, but... They've replaced them. Yo, They've replaced them. NXT is a good product. It's not bad. No, not NXT is not a bad product. Yeah, like, it's not bad compared to like the regular shit. When you take like a small roster like that, I think you can do more with them. And then Triple H is ahead of that. Yeah, Vince Triple H isn't is pulling the strings. I think. Nah, he's too fucking old yeah. now. Like the niggas like senile and shit. Like mm-hmm. he just be doing kitty shit. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. John Cena going now, so like yeah, he's just trying to find somebody else. Yeah, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, bro. Yeah, that's wrestling for you. All right, cool. yeah, we're unfortunately gonna have to wrap it up now, but we got more conversation afterwards for sure. Uh, thank you guys for coming on. Shout out to yeah. Austin and, and Sky. You want to? Yeah, you. shout out your shits, uh, all all your stuff, your Instagrams um, or. No, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Austin X Demarco. You know, um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't really post all the time, but when I do, it's some fire shit. So yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and I'm not pretty motherfucker. So yeah, yeah. Me. yeah just you know, Sky three K. It's lit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything will be down below, and then their sound clouds will be down below. Make sure you check that shit out, cause that's an absolute heat. Five, five, yeah. five, five, bro, you got no ways cosign. That's like the hardest cosign to get. Thank you me, understand bro. how hard that cosign to get is? Thank you. I'm yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Yeah. Shout out. Thank you guys for listening. Give me some feedback if any. Um, support the channel. Subscribe. Share if you want to support me. That's the best way you can do it. Is share. Appreciate these guys for taking their time out for making this happen. And thank you all for listening and making all this magic happen. You guys strive, make me strive for all types of great things. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.